Good morning, everyone, and welcome to First Take. Carrie Champion in studio in, studio in Bristol, Connecticut. Skip Bayless uh, in New York City, and Stephen A. is in New York. Blood clots uh, in his lungs. So joining me now is our Brian Windhorst. You first reported this uh, earlier this morning uh, after you got some confirmation. Yeah. You talked about it briefly. You said after a wonderful day in terms of the it trade was. and what they were excited about, the front office as well as the team, is, is tempered. Uh, because of this news, what is the latest? Yeah, it was a total roller coaster for the Heat. I mean, to, to Miami, it just increases it. So, it's very possible that in the end of this, we're going to have a really nice story that Chris Bosch was in danger and was. Uh, and I'm not asking you to speculate, but they say that we should be hearing from the Miami Heat organization sometime today. Do you know if, in fact, they will make that announcement? I, I expect uh, th th there. Jordan, his career free throw percentage is second worst to Ben Wallace all time among players with at least 400 career games. Uh, now, the Clippers, fifth place, a game and a half ahead of the Spurs in the West. We're talking football when we come back. Words after the break as to why he was so impressive. We'll be right back in just a few moments. Where his Hall of Fame career started. Uh, KG agreed to drop his no trade clause and was traded by the Nets to the Timberwolves. The move affords Garnett the chance to play out possibly his final NBA season as a member of the team that drafted him out of high school back in 19 returning and he was actually very excited about it. Gentlemen, uh, as we wrap up the show, I want to thank you. Hopefully we'll see you back in Bristol next week. You have a safe weekend in New York and New York. Okay, we are done. We'll see you Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN2. Have a great one, everyone.